built-in data from Excel won't be available in the Excel ribbon by default. So we have to add it into the Quick Access Toolbar. Click on the down arrow next to the Quick Access Toolbar and then click on More Commands. From the drop-down list of Choose Commands, select All Commands. Search for Form in the list. Click on Add. Then click OK. And now we have the form on Quick Access Toolbar. To start using this data form, we should have a data set or at least the headers of a data set. If we try to use the form without any data, we will get a warning message like this. So I will create the headers for a simple employee database. Employee code, first name, last name, department, basic salary, HRA. Now I will convert this data into an Excel table. It is not mandatory to use table, but there are many advantages of using data form with table. Click on insert tab, table, mark the checkbox saying my table has headers. Now click on form and here we have the Excel's built-in data form. All those headers which we created are shown in this data form as labels and we can enter data into the input box corresponding to each label. Let me fill the details of the first employee. Click on new and our table is updated with the data which we filled in the data form. Now the details for the second employee. Again, row 2 is filled with the data which we entered in the data form. Now about the advantage of using table. Let me add a new column here. And you can see the table expanded when I added the new column. I will create a formula here that is gross salary equal basic salary plus HRA and when I press enter the formula is applied to every cell in this column. I will add one more column for converting this number into words equal a user defined function English number select the cell for gross salary and when I press enter the formula is applied to every cell in this column. Now back to our data form and you can see the data form is having new labels corresponding to the new columns created. Data form in Excel is extremely useful when your row of data is very wide and requires repeated horizontal scrolling. To view the whole data in the form one by one, click on Find Next. You can also use the scroll bar for the same. Total number of records are shown here. Now about deleting records, not the details of employee against the serial number 6. Navigate to the details that particular employee using find next button. To delete this record, click on delete. And please note that when we delete the data using a data form, the data will be deleted permanently. Once again, details of employee against serial number 8.
This criteria option in data form can be used to filter the data satisfying a specific criteria or condition. For example, if I need to filter the records for the employees in the accounts department, type in accounts in the input box against department, press enter and the data form is displaying the details of first employee in the accounts department. When I click on find next, data form will display the details of second employee in the accounts department. Once again for the third employee. We can also filter the records using numbers. For filtering the records of employee having basic salary greater than 9000, type in greater than 9000 in the input box against basic salary. Press enter. First record satisfying that condition is against serial number 3. A salary of 24,280 which is greater than 9000. The second record is against serial number 7 that is a salary of 9380. I hope you will find this video useful. For feedback and discussion, please make use of the comment section. And those who are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.